Yo, what's up guys? My name is Urosh. Welcome back. Today we have four different tracks by Christian Loeffler, Christian Loeffler, uh, Loeffler, and uh, we're going to take a look at, uh, you know, a look, uh, take a look at the chords. And this is just part one. I'm gonna make uh, more of these breakdowns by uh, by his music, and also all the four chord progressions will be on my Patreon if you want to download them or use them for your own music or whatever, right? Uh, let's just turn off this because it's giving us uh, probably like the sustain delay. Okay, so the first track we're taking a look is Dear Jehovah. Uh, and I think this is a rework by a Christian. And if you take a look at the description on YouTube, it will say that he basically Deutsche Grammophon, which is like a really famous uh, German classical record label, uh, gave him uh, basically uh, recordings of old uh, Johann Sebastian Bach songs, right? And that's where we get the vocals from. If you listen to the track, you can hear the vocals in the background of a choir. And uh, that's basically the sample probably that he got inspired by. Uh, so let's take a listen uh, quickly uh, to the first track. the vocals this is definitely Bach I will post the link down below as well to the original recording but uh, I don't know if you know Max Richter right but when I heard this track Dear Jehovah at first I was like okay this is Max Richter chord chord progressions right because I listen to a lot of uh, contemporary classical music and this is used quite a lot right and if we take if I write here Max Richter nature of daylight and I just uh, go and I listen let, let me just see if I have the I have it on head uh, let me just put it on headphones and if we listen to the Max Richter on the nature of daylight which is a song from Arrival soundtrack which is a movie I don't know if you watched it but it's a great movie by Denis Villeneuve which who is like one of my favorite directors probably uh, but yeah let's listen to the Max Richter one track and I'm probably gonna get copyrighted for this but uh, yeah whatever let's just look at uh, let's just listen to chords I just wanna oh yeah did I skip yeah I skipped <laughs> uh, where this where is this start hey here we go Right, I, I don't know in what which key are we in in the Max Richter track. Yeah, yeah, we're in B B flat, and this dear Jehovah is in F sharp. Right, so if we go to B flat, which is one, two, three, four, seven tones up, uh, and let's do the same with the Christian Loeffler track. Let's pitch it up by four seven tones. And let's listen. Right, and this is really similar, right? Like they're the same chords because I've listened to these chords so many times that when I when I hear a track that is not in a in a, in the same key but there's a same chord progression, I know I I can uh, recognize it and I can immediately attach it to some somebody else's track, right? So yeah, this is just like a prelude to everything. But yeah, let's take a look at these uh, chords which I made in the strings. I use the Sospira strings because these are the strings that I currently use for this kind of music. They have cold, warm, and full. And let's just uh, listen to the chords first and take a look at them. Obviously, it's a Loeffler track and it's a very sad track. So we're starting it with a minor chord in a minor key, right? And let's uh, transpose everything back down the way it was. And we can take a look. We have F sharp minor. Then we have an inversion of a C, C, sharp, uh, C sharp minor, right? 
but we're having an inversion and then we're going back down to C, C sharp minor and then D major, right? So let's listen to this. Right, so th those are the chords. And here where I said we have the cold worm and the full. Uh, I oftentimes use the cold ones because I think they're the prettiest. The worms, you get a different color. Right, but these cold ones are really... So if we take a listen with the Dear Jehovah, we can hear that this they're, they're, they're the same chords, right? Like the, the one last thing I would point out here in this Dear Jehovah track is that if you take a look at where the chord changes are, you can see that the chords last three bars, not two bars, which is uh, you know what you're used to most of the time. And if you take a look at it from a four-four time perspective, it kind of you know you can see that the bits uh, where the chords changes are not on the like entirely on the grid. If we would go six-eight, uh, we would have everything lined up perfectly. Right, so the beats, uh, like the chord changes, last for three bars instead of two bars, uh, which is what we're used to. Right, they usually go or one bar. They usually change here, right? But these day, I think you see what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay, so let's move to the next track. We have Christian Loeffler Hall feet. I think it's Mona. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. But yeah, let's listen to the track first. So um, this one uh, is, uh, you, we can feel it's more happier song. I mean, it's at least not as sad as the previous one, right? So why was the previous one more sadder than this one? Well, obviously this one has a beat and everything, but the chords also last longer here than here, right? Here there, um, the chords are happening way faster than here, right? And this is something you have to think about when you have fast uh fast chord changes the song will not uh, it's hard to make a song sad when there are a lot of chords happening you know what i mean so but if you make chords really long it will tend to usually sound more sadder right so that's the one thing the other thing is this song starts in a major uh, in, with a major chord right if you if we take a look at this this is a g major chord right if we Put it like this it's a g major chord right but it's inverted uh then we have e minor so we have g major e minor then we have b minor and then we have what is this a major right a major then we go back to g, ma g major e minor b minor and this this is again a major right uh i do think that um so yeah, this is A major and this is also A major. Yeah, I was thinking that something changes, but it's just looping. Okay. Let me just see if there's any change here. Yeah, I went up instead of down, but it's the same chord. Now, obviously, we could transpose all of these chords higher so we could hear them better. We could also make them different. We could also add like a bass note, right? And you make a melody. <laughs> so 
so yeah, get my drift. Uh, but yeah, uh, this one is was Christian Lover Hall. Now we're going to Neo, and I think Neo actually has the most chords of these bunch. Uh, let's take a listen first. Okay, so that's it. Now this song again feels more sad than the previous with the Mona, right? And we can take a look at the chords. We can see that they're really, really long, like even longer than the first track, right? And way longer than this, right? We can see long sustained chords, right? So let's take a look at what I wrote. We have A, mi uh, a minor, right? We're, I think we're in the key of A minor, so all only white notes, right? Uh, so yeah, let's take a look. We have A minor. A minor, again doing the same thing as before in the Dear Jehovah, we are using an inversion, again, right? Like if you listen to this, let me just, uh, and let's transpose this down to F sharp with Jehovah was in, right? We get the same, we get the same passage again down. Uh, from a minor key down to uh, inverted um, is the same, right? Right, the third chord is where the difference is. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is Neo, right? So let's go back to E minor where the track is, uh, is in. So, and let's go take a look at the chords. We have A minor, then we have, like I said, E minor inverted. Uh, with a G in the bass, then we have F, F, F major, D minor, F major, G major, C major, and then F major, right? So yeah, those were the chords of Neo, and now we have the Versailles one, which I actually did like, uh, I don't know what I played yesterday. Uh... And obviously like the Christian Laffer Versailles is like the, I would call this progression, like it's an epic progression. A, a chord progression which is used for epic music like so much and also like the like the love kind of like a love theme like you uh, it's really easy to write like a love theme with these chords uh you have c c minor let me just uh make it, make it like this so you can see what i'm playing and also chordy do i have chordy chordy app is it gonna work? We don't know. One sec, calling home, sending credentials. <laughs> nah, it doesn't work. Ah. Yeah, because they have MIDI aux on. Let me just. Yeah, it's not gonna. I'll we'll have to restart, so it's not working. But uh, yeah, anyways, what I'll try to say is we have C minor. Let me. Like this. C minor, right? Then uh, A flat major, right? Then E flat major and B flat major, right? And that's basically the Versailles um, chords, right? These chords are used in a lot of music. I probably made like two remakes uh, with these chords, not in the same key, but Nora and Pure, um, Nora and Pure, which one was it? 
the first Nora and Pure remake and the second one was uh, the Sultan and Shepard Ray. They have the same chord progression, like really similar, right? Uh, so let's listen to Versailles. Yeah, let me just uh, add another piano, which is... Um, it sounds maybe this one was intimate, so you can't you couldn't really hear it a lot. But That's it for uh, this video, I guess. Let's just uh, record the, the the strings again, so you can see the chords as well here. So yeah, that was kind of it. Uh, I know that I didn't play it really well. <laughs> and I don't know what's happening down below. Uh, but uh, yeah, these are the chords. C minor, um, A flat major, E major, E flat major, and then B flat major, right? And this is like the fifth, uh, no, uh, <laughs> no, six, four, one, five chord progression in the key of E flat major, right? or a C minor, right? So yeah. And let's take a look at the chords again. We can see that, uh, um, obviously, <laughs> let me just quantize it. I really wish there was like a feature that would like make you make you like everything the way you want, the way you want to play, right? Because um, this is just taking a lot of, a lot of time. Maybe I should just record it better. Is it the next key major? Yes, it is. So we can just fucking duplicate everything. <laughs> So yeah, if we take a look at the chords, we can again see that they are pretty, pretty long. Two, less than two bars, the same as here. And in Dear Jehovah, they lasted for three bars, right? But here I have the different signature. So here lasted for, uh, I mean, one and a half bar, right? Uh, so yeah, I hope you like this tutorial. Uh, you know, I really like his music, so I'll probably make uh, more stuff like this and also like not just the chords and stuff but also like the production wise just uh, uh we'll see how it all goes i hope you have a good day it just started and uh talk soon guys enjoy your life man uh 